And there it is. Welcome in, everybody, to PMA Sessions with Punk Rock Saves Lives. Uh, today is the 14th of October, and that would be the wonderful year of 2020. I hope everybody's doing really good out there in the world. Um, I'm going to uh, we'll get some folks in and hopefully people checking it out. And uh, I'm here and oh, look at that. People jumped in right off the bat. How is everybody out there in the world? Uh, we'll be watching for uh, Mackenzie and I'll be watching for comments. I know Dan is too. We'll try to answer any questions you got. But uh, as usual, I'd like to start every week by welcoming everybody in and finding out what's going on. Let's start since Dan, Dan's been on vacation. Well, he was here last week, but he was on vacation for a couple of weeks. And look at that smile. And I believe he's moving into a new house tomorrow, right? Yes, moving into a new townhome about a half hour away. Um, very thrilled. Won't lie, I'm nervous. Definitely new for me. But um, looking forward. Really am, right before winter. So um, it's all going to work out. Cool. Moving in before you. That came quick, we... Dan. I didn't realize it was tomorrow already. Yeah, it's already been like, what, four months since I, maybe three since I initially brought it up. <laughs> we, uh, We've called him this for years, and it's not an insult. Dan is our baby bird, and Dan is flying the nest. Woo <laughs> All right. And beside Dan this week is our number one guest. We have two wonderful guests this week. But number one is Mr. Chris Peterson. How are you today, young sir, out there? Very well, very well. Where are you, San Jose? Is that correct? San Jose, California. Yep. Um, oh, let's yeah. say the the last fraction show that rocked so <laughs> totally uh, yeah. how uh what uh what do you do what are you doing out there how's how's the weather everything good or unusually warm for october um uh just dog sitting working remotely writing poetry doing that's that's even, what I'm doing. I love it. Being safe. Yeah. I say that, but I'm always busy. Uh, okay. We'll move downward to Miss Mackenzie Walters, who's our co-host always and our awesome, awesome person. And how are you? How's, how's New Mexico right now? Uh, I'm good. I'm trying to remind myself that the things that I can control are good. Um, I, I get what Chris is saying. It's been really warm here, too. So the D4, Dildra 4 song, Gainesville, feels like summer in October, has been stuck in my head every single day. Usually we have the balloon fiesta, and day one is just when our temperature drops of that. Like, that's always usually when that happens. But that was obviously canceled, so we're just still warm. And my theory that it has everything to do with that festival has remained to be true. Um, we are... Alexa, we have met and are every day exceeding our record high rates of COVID cases. So we're dealing with some new restrictions and it's getting honestly really scary. Um, like we hit our record cases a couple days ago at 488 cases and today it's like 570 new cases. So kind of a quick jump even from that. So is that we'll New Mexico happens. or is that... Uh, Albuquerque. That's New Mexico. Wow. So it's, uh, we'll see what happens. We will yeah, see. It's, it's a tough time right now to even think about, um, you know, doing anything. Um, I'm, we had a lot of people travel here because we were kind of in the clear for a long time. And I mean, my friends, I work at a hotel, so obviously I don't see a lot of locals, but all my friends who work in breweries and restaurants, you know, they're pretty good like local hotspots they're seeing more out of state ids than even local ones so i think it has a lot to do with people coming here so please don't come visit us <laughs> please <laughs> so, you, stay in you arizona so, stay in, stay so in like texas the, we don't want you you sound like the denver people uh you don't want to move here it's not it's there's no no sunshine no. yeah but also there's no like native denver people everyone moved there so nobody's allowed to like say that I, I meet a unicorn every so often. That's fair. That's fair. Everybody everybody moved there from somewhere else. Yeah, there's there's a lot of cases going on all over the place and some spikes in a lot of places. So please, please wear your mask and stay home if you can. Some of us, you know, 
I'm considered essential because of the deliveries and stuff I'm doing. Um, but it's kind of scary. You know, it's, there's a lot going on. Last but not yep. least, over in our other corner, for her second visit, second visit to the PMA sessions, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Deal Peterson, how are you, young lady? Hello, hello. I'm good. Thanks for asking. <laughs> and I always mess your city up. Is it Sunny Vale or Dale? Vale. Sunny Vale. Vale. It is not where Buffy lives. It is where I live. <laughs> I was going to say, it's I guess. Sunny, but it's from that TV show. Yeah, I think that's where Buffy the Vampire Slayer lives, is yeah, Sunny yeah. Dale. So. At least you got Buffy. Albuquerque got High School Musical, so at least you're back. <laughs> and Breaking yeah. Bad. Bad was actually filmed here. <laughs> that is accurate. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's what's good. Uh, you know, you ha is your weather similar to where Chris is? is oh, yeah, Chris, Chris is just like a 15 minute drive from me. Okay, so yeah, we're both uh, we have the AC on right now because it was just sweltering. Um, well, you know, by our um standards, <laughs> but it got to like 90, so we were like, okay, enough, and turned on the AC. So yeah, that's where we're at. But right up the road in San Francisco, it'll be like 40 tonight, right, or something? Uh, yeah. Well, you know, yeah, probably like 60, mm. you know, it'll be nice. It'll be perfect there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That Bay, Bay, Bay Area coldness or whatever you want to call it, it's pretty amazing. But, yeah. Um, when it wants to show up. <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm kind of watching. If I look over, I'm watching the comments and stuff. So I know we all are, but... Um, they're also we're we're launching I, I guess they forgot I'm on online but we're launching our first of the um, social distance happy hours tomorrow night I know it, it stinks with all of these new cases and everything luckily we're not spiking out all that much here um, there are some isolated areas like the colleges seem to be spiking out but we are going to try it it is an outdoor big giant patio so there will be room uh, tomorrow night, Brent Loveday is playing for us. Uh, but they're texting me because the temperature did drop a little. And, like, I guess they forgot that I'm online, but they're asking about those space heaters and stuff like that. And, and we do have one, so we'll take one up there. That'll help. Um, it seems to do that. I don't know why, Magwai. I, she says my my uh, my audio is low. Is that better? Oh. We can hear you. Okay. But uh, good. So we're doing that tomorrow night. We got Brent Love Day, of uh, um, Reno Divorce and Brent Love Day and the Dirty Dollars playing out on the porch. Uh, we're we're luckily getting to slip the band a little bit of money, um, just to get something going. I know artists are struggling mightily. I mean, everybody is, but you know, if you play play for a living, you're struggling. And if you tour for a living, you're struggling. Uh, the venues are struggling, so we're doing. We're trying to do a little of our own uh, type, type, type little way of helping. Uh, the bar uh, is going to sell beers at a very discounted rate and donate the money to us, which is pretty cool. And then I'll set up a little booth and see if anybody wants any of our merch. So um, that's happening. That's really cool. And what is there? How's I mean? Is there anything happening or safety-wise going on in your towns that that can be like that as well? I mean, is there? Do you, are you just feeling like lockdown? Um, I actually went out to a bar with a girlfriend the other day. Um, we sat. They had. There's nothing in the bar, but they have a back patio and a front patio, and so we sat on the back patio and had a couple beers in the like uh, in the afternoon and I've, I, I felt naughty <laughs> like this is not okay we're not supposed to be doing this so um, but other than that really we haven't uh, too much we've just been kind of hunkering down here at the house same here same yeah. here it's just I think we're in the worst county for the COVID pandemic. I don't think so Really? I don't We're think not? so. I thought we changed to like orange today. Amy um, Hewitt posted something that oh. we got moved down. So um, I don't know. County. 
I mean, we were one of the first places to like have, you know, COVID deaths, I think, but whatever. Yeah. You know, we're we're just doing our part. We're also very lucky that where we live, I think a majority of people are um, doing the right thing. You know, social distancing, everyone, everyone, everywhere is wearing masks around here, it seems. So um, it's become quite the fashion statement. Like I've got some really cute ones. My friend Kathy just got me that one and yeah so like i've got tons of them i got my my halloween vans looking one oh, so nice yeah. i got all kinds of masks so um yeah it's not you know we're lucky around here yep for sure i have a bunch of cool cloth ones they started getting difficult for work just because they were like right up on my face and i spend eight hours talking to people so i switched to the paper ones which have been nice for work and then i um i ordered some uh, all black ones are the paper ones and they, they're all like murdered and cool looking. So that's been kind of <laughs> helpful. I was like the light blue ones I kind of hated and it was, it felt like I lost my soul when I made the switch and then I just got the discovered some all black ones. So I was like, all right, we can, awesome. we can make this work. I wanted to give a little shout out to some people I see online. Uh, Richard Wilson's in our brother. If you didn't see the other day, he got to try on his prosthetic and took a few steps that was so badass. I literally was crying watching it. And it was, uh, so nice. Richard, we love nice. you, brother. And keep keep yeah. up the strength. And uh, I see uh, Angel has jumped in. And if you did, Angel, see, what's up, girl? The awesome shirts that we love you. Us. And I think, isn't that great? I'm wearing right? one. There you go. Yeah, we, have, we have Angel. So, I, have, I have my brother's face on my back uh, right okay. now. <laughs> Nice. I have yeah. my face face on my back when I wear mine. So yeah. Yeah. we sort of love each other. I see Mr. Uh, huge Huge himself, Ryan Francis, just jumped in. Hey brother, good to see you. We gotta get you on here and do some uh do some of your rap soon. It's I'm I'm stoked. It's good stuff. Uh our our dear friend Lauren's on here. Jenny Deanna. Hardy. Yep, Deanna. Yeah. Richard gets his leg tomorrow. Look at that. Yes, at that. I just Yay. saw that. There it is. Oh, that's Angel. But that'll work too. Hey, girl. Hey. Uh, this is uh, Jenny saying her state is number one in cases for death, and the wow. government called us. Wow. Where is that, Jenny? What state is that? North Dakota. North Dakota. Oh. Oh, my gosh. And so you're number one in cases and deaths, but no mandates, just recommendations. Yeah. Yeah. Totally, girl. We feel you. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Be safe. Yep. And she's a first responder, so my hat's off to her. For okay, her. girl. Be careful. Do, do, do what you can, Jenny, and be safe for you. Please. Yeah, for sure. Sounds like someone turned on a stereo. Look at that. Right. It's not me. No, it's not me. Either that or we picked up somebody's CB there for a second, which <laughs> most of you youngins don't know what a CB is, but you know. I do. Oh, come I on. Do. <laughs> I used to make my own radio. Ah. Well, Chris, I really want to get into uh, to some talk about your poetry and how you're using it to keep people positive and everything. What what started it? What where where did you where did you get this idea? Um Broke down, um, it literally was um, a high school assignment after reading Shakespeare's uh, Macbeth and the English teacher in my junior year at high school was like, write a sonnet. <laughs> I'm like, okay, write a sonnet about love yeah. before. Um, well, no, without knowing that you've been in love. So with no experience, I'm like, okay, wrote that. And it came out like dripping out of my hands, like writing. And I came back to that stage, like, all right, you could write another one. And it took off from there. So, um, and um, I realized that it was a needed therapy through this pandemic of mine. So I sit down literally 20 to 30 minutes to myself in my cranium and, I am, um, I write because it's my sanity. It keeps me sane. So, and I'm just fortunate enough to know so many people. 
to share that gift and inspire a positive mental attitude, as Angel would say. So, most definitely. I have to say, um, I, I feel blessed to be one of those people that have gotten yeah. to read a lot of them. And yeah, me too. It's seriously, are, it's seriously amazing work. And I understand there's a somebody, uh, it might even be someone from the Flag and Molly Cruise is talking about trying to help you get it organized and into a book form. Is that correct? Yeah. Cheers to, um, kudos to Irish O'Neill, Dan husband. He's like, Chris, let's get 150 book, 150 days in a book. And we started from there. And um, um, thank you, Jenny, for your kind thoughts. Um, yeah, so we're making that happen. It's a slow process because my email, I email myself my work every day. So having emails, over 500 poems in an email box, it's taxing, but it's worth the work for sure. So. And also, I might add that Chris has self-published two uh, two anthologies of his previous work. By the way, P.S. And working oh, wow. on and working on a third with the backing of a publishing company. So. Yeah, this time he'll yeah someone else is publishing it, so it's pretty pretty remarkable. We're all very proud of him. That's amazing. Um, where is yeah. there is there a way to get the first two? Um, yes, I could send you the websites. Okay. Yeah, so, sure. send them, uh, if you can, put them in the comments section and Dan will get them out there for people to check out. Most um, definitely. That's right. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Most Dan, definitely. Dan is our, Dan is kind of our online right. historian. He, 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 he catches everything while we do these and he posts and does a recap and puts them up every week. And so people have a way to check out, you know, the artists we have on or the, the writers, the poets, the just the good people. It's it's a good way to recap every time. So it's really amazing. Yeah. So don't think I'm always silent just because. Yeah. Yeah. Rob and I and whoever we bring on, we just kind of get to do whatever we want, and Dan Dan makes it a makes it organized and puts it all together for us. <laughs> yeah, but Dan's Dan's the one who like has the hella PMA posts every day that. Yeah. I'm telling you, Dan, sometimes those things just hit me so square on. I'm like, how how did he how did he know? So <laughs> thank you. Thank you for that work. Thank I you. It. Sure. I appreciate it. Thank you. Right back at you. Yeah, same here. Thank you for the inspiration. Likewise. I don't know if you okay. saw that comment I threw up, but Dania, I always I always mess it up. Is it Dania? If it is, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. But She's been a big uh, participant in all of these, and she says that writing is good for the soul and mind. And um, <laughs> Richard, one, Richard wanted to know if Dan could even speak. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. I mean, to to uh, just a pretty face. He has a voice. <laughs> to elaborate on Virginia's remark, especially in times like now, where everything is so still, where do we need? Where can we go? So. We yeah. could only escape to places that we want to be and to motivate us toward living. So it's time. And so. I know, Chris, you do a lot of really, you and Deal both do the age ride every year. That's something that is just incredible. Y'all ride all the way basically up and down California. Is that correct? Or? Yeah, it's from San Francisco to LA. It takes a week about an average of about 80 miles a day on our bikes. Yeah. That's yeah. another wonderful safe place in my head for my head these days too. So exercise. Yeah. Definitely. Tragically it um it was canceled already for next year. So yeah. we're just trying to work through that because that's two years in a row that this like it's the best week of our lives besides the cruise. So it's 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 a pretty major uh Hello. Major gut punch. Right. Yeah. I'm sorry, I was laughing at the comment. No, same. <laughs> same. <laughs> the timing was really that's, awkward, man. Yep, that's our boy nice. Robert from Franks and Deans, and he too. Uh, amazing band, guys. If that's you don't the other know shirt that we Deans, need, yeah. or a sticker or something. They are. They are the bomb. Yeah, nobody puts Dan in a corner. That's our next sticker. 
Yeah. We still Tony. need the shoop there she is sticker for April. We do need the shoop there, there she is. And the Dan Aid one. Yes. <laughs> We've come up with all these stickers, you know. Uh, the uh, I, I was really, I was really surprised we rolled out the Make America Kind Again stickers uh, earlier this week, and they're blowing out of the store. It's been incredible. All of the, um, all the mental health circle that we did this week with Bowling for Soup and um, everything has just been incredible. Their fans are really digging into it. Um, we are closing in on 9,000 followers on Facebook, um, trying to get 10,000 in the first year. So, push. No. Yes, guys, ask, push it for us. Help. Please ask Help. everybody to like us if you can. Um, if every single one of you could get a tenth of a person to like us, we'll make it. There you go. Yeah. A tenth of a person. I like that. A tenth of a person? That's Matthew. <laughs> Not every single one of the people watching, but if all of our, all the people have already liked us, if all twenty of you got, what is that? I can't Two do minutes. that math right now. I'm so tired. I don't math. Yeah. I'm, <laughs> I I I, I can it's I 50. can do the yeah I can do the <laughs> straight math like, but uh, when you start getting that algebra stuff and. I'm speed. usually I'm usually good. I've just been I've just been exhausted these past couple of days. That's okay. It's okay to be exhausted. I I have we uh, with 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 Walter getting his surgery the last week. Tina and I were trying to not let him get under. He likes to go to bed under the bed, oh. and so we didn't want him crawling around under there. Um, so we slept on the couch. Um, just to be able to keep him out there, you know what I mean? And so you either sleep really good on the couch or you don't sleep really good on the couch. I don't think there's a middle ground. So yeah. I get the, the dragging thing and I've been trying to drive as much as possible and then launch these new initiatives. Uh, I tell you what, I, um, shipping out the orders is crazy. I, we, it's all here now and dabbles, uh, dabbles makes most of our merch out there in California, if you don't know Spar Customs, if you need anything, he's amazing. He'll get you stuff made really quick and to you. Um, but to take a little off his plate so he could be more on the creative side, I had it all. Believe it or not, to my, this side of me is all of the personal merch. It's all, it's all in that other room. And uh, I have it all laid out and cool and like a little, like a little store and shipping it like when when you roll out new stuff like that we had almost 50 orders in a day and a half and getting that all in envelopes printing out the labels and getting it to the post office it's a lot more work than you would ever think but it's i wish i could come up and just help you if i uh if i lose my job again i'm not even gonna think twice about it i'm just gonna be like i'm gonna come help rob and tina <laughs> There's not i spent lot. four months not doing that and i'm like why why didn't i just go help well, you you were safe, and there's yeah. that's not a bad thing. Uh, all right, Chris. What uh, if I'm not mistaken? Were you you were you a were you a Special Olympics athlete for a while? And I still am. I'm going an avid. He avid, is full very, on. Um, yeah. Pretty good advocate for those with disabilities and competing with them for probably the age of five or six and um it topped it the ultimate honor was in 2017 when i was um named the special olympics northern california athlete of athlete, the year athlete of the year for 2017. athlete what? of the year it, it was a hell of an it was like this That's huge so ceremony it was amazing um there were um, athletes from various different um you know, like Dwight Clark was inaugurated um, yeah. from the 49ers. And there was a, um, uh, I can't remember. Yeah, Seven there were all. Legends in the main and it, it was awesome because they all gave these beautiful speeches. It was this black tie affair. Um, and it was really, really cool. And, um, and Chris was one of the first ones to give a speech. And subsequently, every single person who came after him was like, well, I'm really bummed that I have to 
give a speech after Christopher did. Like seriously, every single one. <laughs> it was really funny, but you know, Chris has a way with words and he um, he really, I was so, I mean, I was very, I'm always proud of him, but I, we were very proud of him that night because he really, he was super extra that night and uh, just wrote some very wonderful, wonderful words that really resonated with the entire audience. It was, it was a beautiful event. And, uh, and so his name was, is on a plaque at um, the Shark Tank in San Jose that, where the sharks play um, hey. forever. That's amazing. Yeah. I'm like honored to be in your virtual presence right now. That's, that's amazing. <laughs> He's kind of hot shit. He's a big deal. Yeah. He, and he gives amazing, amazing hugs. I keep hearing about that. I know. <laughs> I've heard that too. I'm just jealous. I think, I think Kramer was the one that, that mentioned. I yeah. I can believe that. <laughs> it's not like Kramer likes to give a hug or so. No. No. No, it gives no. those like you know, uh, just kidding. Yeah. Kramer gives a hug that like you have to recover from. <laughs> <laughs> you have to take a minute, there, catch your there's, breath. There's another. There's another sticker. Kramer gives a hug that you have to recover from. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this been, yeah, the sticker ideas are not something that I've been writing down. I probably should have been. <laughs> These, these, most of these are documented still on That's here right. and on YouTube. So, um, I mean, they don't trying... wait, they don't go away. The internet no, is forever, the internet uh -oh. is supposed to be forever. We'll see. Um, but at least you didn't blank out this week. You're, you're yeah, right. I know. I missed you guys. That was that sucked. And but then I'm Dan... a new router. Dan's crashed right at the end of the week too. It was really he was telling me that too. Yeah, his PC kind of went out the same night. I think. Yeah. Sometimes. Crazy, crazy. That's well, Chris, how you know we're connected. What, Chris, what's your uh, what what was your what is your favorite of the of the events? What what do you like? What do you do? What's your <laughs> just keep you crashes eating. all of them? Are you kidding me? It's really hard. I mean, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, sisters. So. Right. So like, I, I'm just gonna say he plays softball and kills yeah. it. He plays yeah. basketball and kills it. He play he bowls and mm -hmm. annihilates. Um, what am I forgetting, Chris? We even we even no, went and and we no, subbed in. No, uh, I do. What? I do my I, that bike ride is my spring sport. The bike ride, the AIDS ride. Yeah, they is right. Yeah. So that, um, yeah. But like for Special Olympics, we're just talking about specifically. Yeah, I just right? three sports. So those three just, sports are the ones he does in Special Olympics. But um, there are all kinds of teams, you know, playing all sorts of sports in Special Olympics. And we have friends on on every team, really. And so sometimes we'll go and just do practice with the wheelchair basketball team. That is the most fun. Actually, my son... He he's best. Like he loves it. He's all, Mom, can I have a wheelchair? I'm like, no, no, you can't have a wheelchair. <laughs> but we can go play with those guys any any Tuesday night you want, you know, when it's yeah. a season. So yeah, we have a lot of fun with the special Olympics year round. Yeah. yeah I might sure. I might have to take you up on uh I'll show up I'll go up there and you can give me bowling lessons so I can be on a punk rock bowling bowling team someday. Okay. All right. I don't think you're allowed. <laughs> he's awesome. You're he's a professional. awesome. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, they have very strict amateur only rules. <laughs> you can be our coach. Yeah. Oh my gosh. He should. We should be like Team PMA. Yeah. yeah. Have, uh, have yeah. Chris be the coach. Lives, PMA, yeah, the PRSL PMA. Yeah. It would be incredibly rad to get. I, w I would love to get you over to Punk Rock Bowling, Chris. You would have some so I've never done this ship, and I understand that that's like really important to almost everybody who Rob brings on here who watches these. But I do have a feeling punk rock bowling's better. Do you? It's not a contest. It's not a contest. I mean, it's perfect because you've got May and and November, so you don't they don't compete this year. I was gonna do it. Mm. But I don't know, but. That she was. We were gonna we were gonna put her on that boat, but we'll get her there when Next time. When, when they yeah. bring her. <laughs> Next time. Every, yeah, there's people saying fighting words and nope and yeah. 
But Did I just oh, I see. Wait, let me respond to Fee real quick. She was asking if it's murder ball, the um, wheelchair. Um, so, so the wheel, the murder ball, like the documentary, it is wheelchair. Um, I think it's like uh, I don't remember what sport it is. It's like, but wheelchair. those guys, most of those guys are people who were um, who. If anyone's seen the movie, feel free to correct me. But I think it's. Uh, people who became, who like lost their limbs or lost the ability um, later. And they started this uh, this sports team where they play, it's full contact wheelchair sports. And there's a documentary, absolutely I recommend it. And it's called Murder Ball. Yeah. it's, it's, it's No, it's fantastic. These, these, these athletes are super into it. It's awesome. So, it's not really the same thing. Special Olympics is is much more uh, a little lighter. A little lighter. Good, good, yeah, yeah. It's not full contact, and it's not. Um, it's a uh, better. Uh, I don't know. It's more um, sporting, you know. Uh, and and everybody wins, you know. It's like, um, I mean, it's competitive. Don't get me wrong. It's really competitive, but um, there are no losers in Special Olympics. Right. Sure. For sure. Yeah. That's that's, I mean, I've always thought it was a amazing organization and cool idea, but knowing Chris and seeing everything that he's done through it is, is, it just throws home that it's, it's a beautiful thing. You know, I love, I love when we all get a chance to do something and fit in and do what we want and we need that more. So we're yeah. working, we're yep. always working on new ways to make us all. Ripity. Make make us all one. Uh oh, I hear. I was dog. I was going to show you Bailey. You know the culprit in my most recent incident. Come here, Bailey. But she's she ain't having it. Let me see if I can. Doesn't want to be outed as as the as the perfect. Yeah. Can you see her? Yeah, we can oh, see her. <laughs> she is so cute. I love her so much. Oh, and here's oh. Never mind. I can't do this. <laughs> I was showing them Bailey. Oh. <laughs> anyway, hi. Hi. Uh, the last time we had you on deal, you were you, uh, your knee was you were still recovering on your knee. How's that recovery going? Everybody yeah, knows? it's just really slow. Um, I've never had a deep bone bruise before. And um, uh, it's just a really long recovery. I'm doing PT and, um, you know, doing the best I can. I There's not really any ETA to my return to work. So I'm, uh, I'm doing the best I can. Yeah. And I know, I know even though you're not out there, um, uh, how are the, how are the fires, how are the situations going? Um, they're still really, um, crazy. It's still nuts here. Uh, you know, I know my department has two engines out right now on strike teams out fighting those big campaign fires. So everyone who is not on those fires is just working overtime backfilling at the station. So, um, everyone who, everyone in the fire service in California, at least, um, is working tons of mandatory overtime right now, um, which, you know, chronic fatigue sets in, you know, it's very, I mean, I'm sure you guys think we just sit around the station all day, but it's, it's an exhausting job. <laughs> and, uh, uh, so I, I do my hats off to, um, everyone who's out fighting fires. Um, I think Liz's husband is even here. Um, Ted, on a, Ted, yeah, Ted's, Ted's out here on a strike team. So yeah, we've got, People coming in from other states, other countries, um, helping us get these fires under control. But you know, it just seems to get worse and worse, and our fire season gets longer and longer and more intense every year. And it's really, it's really, um, it's really troublesome to think of every year, year after year. You know, this this is the case, and uh, I don't, I don't see. Uh, it's it's kind of disheartening, you know. And but it, it seemed to really, you know, we had to deal with it in Colorado. And then you guys, obviously, we we always do. Um, 
it seems like it moved up the coast more than I remember in the past yeah. year. I don't, yeah, I don't Oregon has that. never, yeah, Oregon's normally, I mean, Oregon's known, I mean, the joke about Oregon is, um, what happens if you fall off your bike in Oregon? You drown. So, I mean, it's like, you know, it, it's always raining there and it's, uh, you know, it's very wet, uh, wonderful, you know, same with like Washington State, how they, they're known for having tons of rain. So the fact that this this intense fire activity is now moving up the coast is unprecedented. It's unprecedented. I mean, how many years in a row can we have like the biggest fire in history? It's like, okay, again, you know, it's it's like at some point you're just like, didn't we burn everything last year? Didn't we like burn everything lit literally? But no. So yeah, it's it's been a hell of a year for the um, firefighters out here for sure. Well, well, it's sure reflected in the weather too. What's that? It's sure. Um, it's it's reflective in the weather. All the smoke. So. I'm going to mute myself because the dogs are barking. At me. Okay. Chris, there's a question for you there on the screen if you saw it. Yeah, I do. Um, Angel, um, I originally take it to pen. Yeah, I, I have journals of the wazoo around here. And um, um, I really, I, I could hear writing pen with paper uh, right now because the convenience of. Um, yeah, well, right. The, the convenience of the phone is so much easier, but yeah, uh, I, I take my time. Um, I really take, I really like the pen and paper, the feel of a pen and paper. It's always a beautiful feeling for sure. So uh, I, uh, I wrote the, uh, I, I just recently with, um, with, with the birth of these roving years, the band with Adam um, that, and Todd and April, uh, we we recorded finally last weekend. Um, but getting out and writing lyrics again for the first time in since ninety three ninety four. Wow! It was really it was really neat, and writing them was really cool. Yeah. Um, I'm the kind of guy that tends to write music. I mean, write my lyrics to once I hear the music, but leading into it, Adam had sent me some guitar demos and I was just trying to come up with some ideas and it was really neat to throw them down again. And then um, Adam took them, took the lyrics that I wrote and made, you know, it's not like he's written a couple of the best songs ever written in my opinion, but with the faction and everything, and he just, uh, he, he fixed a couple and tweaked a little, um, and it's really, really cool okay. to see it coming to life. So, For sure. Uh, um, I could actually say the same thing. Um, a shipment, uh, Gray Kitzenberg is her name, I believe, um, sent me some musical samples. Asked me to write some more to it, and I literally had um, the music beating me, and like on my other side, I was like, oh, I got the words here. So it was nice to actually put something together with music. His Facebook name is Danny Crucial. Yeah. So I was able to complete one and he's like, yeah, I'm employing using this one that you did. I'm like, okay. So thanks to Daniel Cruc Danny Crucial for the opportunity of that as well. That's awesome. Yeah, I do. I do. I do always see when I read your stuff. I do. It, they do have. It does have a musical quality. So, um, I bet. I bet someone could really easily make them into some songs. You know, that's. So. Yeah, I thought they were all songs when you first started sending them to me, and I was like, "Wow, this is awesome! I'd love to hear how this like turns out." But to music, you know, and I think that'd be a really cool next step. Yeah. Well, Chris, you 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 pretty much mostly follow that like iambic pentameter, right? Like the yeah. experience. The sonic. It. Yeah, he, the sonic form. Was yeah, the he, of the foundation. he adheres so. pretty pretty strictly to the sonnet um, formula of of how to write a poem. So um, yeah, that would transfer 
really nicely to music, yeah. actually. For sure. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, yeah. let's uh, let's let's do some brainstorming. I know we've all we're all kind of locked down. There's a lot of life trying to um, open back up, but then we're seeing some spikes, so we're closing back down. What's a what's a few ways? Let's go around the table here and just kind of come up with a few ways that people can keep their spirits up. What what are a few things going on right now that you think could help and some good advice? Uh, let's start with Chris. What what do you think? What do you think some people could do right now to just keep their keep their spirits up? Simply reach out to somebody. I mean, reach out to somebody because you don't know. Um, you don't know um, if that someone is in need, and two is better than one, right? So, um, reaching out to somebody, having conversations, keeping your brain active, keeping the dialect dialogue open, so and the connection. So, I think that's unbelievable, man. That was that was right on the head. Because um, we're not, you're not alone. No one should feel alone because we're in this together. So we're, we're social distance together. You know, right, exactly. And we we try to make a big deal out of that on this every week and make sure people know that we're all in this together. And you know, you can call any of us. You can email any of us. You can whatever you need. And yep. if we can't answer your question, I bet we know someone that can help. Definitely. <laughs> and, we have this amazing circle. Um, you know, obviously, a lot of you here is talk about the ship, and that was the Flogging Molly Cruise, and that's an amazing thing. And it's where a lot of us became really, really close friends that launched this charity. But it's not all of it. We actually are growing way out of that and into like it's all to see all these punks around the world coming out and offering you know, to help in any way. Um, it's been really, really cool. Um, so don't be afraid to reach out. We're here to try to help. If we don't know the answer, uh, we will, we will find someone that can try to answer it for you. Um, deal. You got any ideas of what some people could be doing? To keep this um, I'm in school. So <laughs> that, um, that, you know, all these people who are telling me like they're bored and things, I'm like, I would give a kidney to be bored actually. Um, cause you know, I'm trying to, I'm going to get my bachelor's degree in psychology and my master's in, um, clinical mental health counseling. So I'm very much like both feet in the water on school right now, currently taking a child development class, which I'm like, um, okay, but it's, absolutely relevant right we're all kind of products of our childhood and that's very important to understand how development occurs in our earlier years so um uh that is occupying a lot of my time and um i've become close friends with a few people who i'm going to school with across the country because it's you know it's an online university we're all attending and so um it's been fascinating getting to know um, I've become very close with a woman named Holly. We've taken like four or five classes together and she lives on the Gulf Coast. So I'm out here, you know, telling her, man, it's so hot. And she's like, um, we have another hurricane going to touch down in my town. So I don't want to hear your complaints. And I'm like, oh my God. So, uh, you know, it's just been uh, really great because I've made um, some new friends who have, you know, academic goals that are parallel to my own. And we help keep each other motivated for school. and. Um, that's been really, that's been really, really, uh, the timing has been fruitful because, you know, now I'm not distracted by the high intense life I used to lead of going to shows like, you know, several times a week and, you know, just being a super hyperactive person. Um, I've really started to embrace uh, this kind of uh, calm that we've all been forced to, you know, to take it back a step. And at first it was hard, just like everybody else, but I feel like um, I've really kind of learned some very important things about myself. Um, and I think that for one, I had a very, very, I, I was a very busy person, like always, you know, I think about 
how the beginning part of this year went for me. And I did all the stuff like in those first two and a half months that people are like, man, you know how long it's been since I got a tattoo. I'm like, yeah, I got one in February, like right before lockdown. Oh man, remember last, when's the last time you went to your show? I'm like, um, right before lockdown, you know, that faction show we were all at, you know, and you know, when's the last time you went on vacation? I'm all, um, February. Uh, I went to Hawaii with my son. Oh, when's the last time you had a party? I'm all January when my brother Chris turned 40. I had a fucking blowout 150 people party at my house. So like I this is how I lived my life. I realized like it wasn't just that I packed it into those couple months. Like that's how this whole year would have been. And um, I'm pretty sure tonight I was supposed to be at Red Rock seeing Bikini Kill. So um, oh, it was today. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not at all upset about that. I, yeah. Mm. Oh, anyway. In person, we could have met for the first yeah. time tonight. Yeah, I was, I was, that, that's like the one that really hit me in the gut. That, and I was, you know, I was going to see, um, I was going to see Idols a couple times this year. And so, yeah, this has been, this was going to be like a, a, you know, big year for all the shows and all the travel. But instead, I've learned some really important things um you know once that basic disappointment went away of like okay my life's different now just like all of us right we've all had to change the way we operate and um i know for a lot of people it's been very hard i'm spoiled because i um i'm sheltering in place with a whole bunch of red people um but i know a lot of people are sheltering by themselves and those are the ones who i particularly want to um, reiterate what my brother said that you have a huge network if you're on if you're if you're watching this right now then you know the network that is available to you um, any any of the people on this screen any of the people who are writing comments all of these people are more than happy to um, to talk to you on the phone to text with you to Skype with you or zoom or whatever um, just you know especially those people who are sheltering by themselves um, you know, you're loved and you're important and you count and um, the feelings of isolation you're having are valid. Um, and we we all want to be helpful for you. So anyway, I just talked for like 20 minutes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so Chris is the writer. I'm the talker. <laughs> That's we have our talks go in the making, right, Deal? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. <laughs> and apparently, yeah. apparently, our man Kramer is online with us. So Kramer, um, yo, we Kramer. love you, brother. Kramer. Uh, if you don't know a lot of the punk rock saves lives art and all of the cool stuff, Mr. Kramer has done it all. Most of the logo work, most of um, most of the T-shirt designs. He he did the initial of the, if you've seen our our Bowling for Soup combo shirt that just launched, um, Kramer did the initial art. Rob from uh, Bowling for Soup came in and fixed a few things to give it more of that Bowling for Soup feel. And we have a rad shirt. So um, Kramer, we love you, brother. And we love yeah. Jillian and your kid and all of you. And uh, so keep hold down Cincinnati out there for us. Yeah, we there he is. Look at that. And he replied. Oh, wrong one. There it is. Um, we love you too, man. Um, all right. Well, what I um what I like to do every week to kind of wrap up. Hold um, on. I wanna I wanna kind of oh. jump off on sort of what Deal was talking about. Um you were going in a circle and I was like, Oh, this is perfect. And then oh, okay. I was gonna no, go into it. Um I love it. She mentioned about, you know, keeping out motivation and that's something that's so much easier said than done, but it is super important. And for me, a lesson that I learned through recovery, but applies to everything, um, whether it's especially because it's an election year, especially because we're in a pandemic. I think one of the most evil things in the world is becoming complacent with where you're at and it applies to mental health. And it's really easy to feel like you've put all this work in and and you can just stop doing the work you know and that's and that's when things kind of start to when you start to lose the grip of what's around you and i feel like that's what the entire country is doing with the pandemic that we're in and just with kind of the situations we're in across the board so whatever you can do to remind yourself what it is that you're fighting for every single day tell yourself what you're grateful for tell yourself 
why you're doing what you're doing. Remind yourself of your goals. Um, that's just kind of what keeps me going every single day. For sure. But. I love I love co-hosting this with Mackenzie because sometimes she just puts it in the perfect perspective Aww. and puts me in my place. It's pretty rad. I love it. <laughs> um, well, thanks, Rob. I don't know. It's part of it. And Oh, look at there. There's, There's a, Jay. Jay. Hi. Hey, look Seth. Oh, hey. <laughs> Oh, I miss her. How's every? Are are you guys still up in Coeur d'Alene? Did I say that right? Coeur d'Alene. It. I tell you what, that might be the prettiest place I've ever driven through. <laughs> I didn't get to stop, but driving through was absolutely gorgeous. Um, so every week to close this out, I I like to get an idea. Dan, I'm sorry, I I didn't bring you in. Did you have anything you needed to say there? Or? All of you just covered everything that needs to be covered, honestly. In the long shot, between keeping your mind active, reaching out to others, it was all covered. I'm going to throw in what Mackenzie used to, and I stole, but stay hydrated. That's all I got. It sounds, as soon as I stopped it, talking, I was like, damn, I forgot. It sounds so petty, and you hear it all the time. You see the meme. But, you know, it could be the it, it could be from anything. You could get rid of that simple headache. You could get that little bit of focus back and it makes all the difference. And that's one thing we don't do enough of. So while you're reaching out and while you're doing those puzzles and keeping your mind active, fill up that water bottle and stay hydrated. That's all. I actually realized the other night at work, I've gotten in a really bad habit of drinking more caffeine than water lately again. And I, I had this goal, especially when it was really hot, drinking at least like four of these guys during a shift and I've only been doing like one or two at work and it's like, Oh, I really need to be better. So thanks for reminding me, Dan. No problem. It's easier said than done. Always will be. <laughs> the one thing that I want to throw in that all of you kind of left out is a little bit, uh, Chris got to it a little bit, but exercise, if you can get, if you can get, I know we're trying to quarantine inside and all sorts of stuff, but, any way to get your heart rate up is going to help. It's going to help your mood. It's going to help. You don't have to be a professional athlete. If um, I go out, I, my, my big one is, and if you haven't noticed, there's been an explosion um, during COVID of skateboarding is back. And it's a lot because it's a sport you can do on your own, even if you're just out in your driveway. And you can try things. You can get some exercise. You can kick around. Um, you know, all these skateboards behind me don't mean I like that at all. Uh, but, um, Honest but, question. Does uh, does anxiety count as getting your heart rate up? <laughs> <laughs> so I do that all the time. It does seem so, I would say. Yeah. But, but just, uh, you know, um, getting – Getting that up, it's it's obviously a really big deal for me. I live with diabetes every day, and if we can get a little exercise, it's one of the quickest ways to affect your blood sugar numbers right off the bat. And additionally, Mackenzie, um, exercise is very good for reduction of anxiety, um, especially um, I know this is going to sound so like touchy-feely, huggy, whatever, but like the yoga is so legit. Mm -hmm. and um, Meditation is one of those things that I always kind of joke about because I really struggle with um, focus in that way. Uh, but I found that even if I just spend a couple days, I'm sorry, a couple minutes each day, um, and I try to do a couple minutes just right when I wake up, and then a couple minutes as I'm lying in bed before I'm falling asleep, I kind of um, try to focus on one teeny tiny noise in my room um, or I try to focus on one thought and when another thought comes in I allow it but then I I ask it to go because I've got this one thing I'm focusing on and the, it's like any exercise the more you do it the better you get and I found that it's been extraordinarily helpful with my anxiety I'm, I'm actually quite blown away um, better than any of the meds I've taken and um, so I just want to pass that on to you. Yes, anxiety does get your heart rate going, but um, maybe to counter your anxiety, 
you know, some regular exercise that does get your heart rate up in a more healthy way, maybe. Um, but also, you know, some yoga. Yoga can get your heart rate up. Don't get me wrong. Um, oh, yeah. But, oh, yeah. you know, some meditation to maybe help reset yeah. your focus a little. And balance. Yeah. 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 I was so much better at it before I went back to work. And I've, and then I was still doing it when I was part time. But now that I'm back up to full time. I'm just like, I don't have energy or time. And it's kind of. I do. I yeah. do have energy and time. I keep telling myself I don't, but I do. So, yeah. And Angel brings up a very good point. Um, Angel, like Angel, like me, is vegan, and eating, eating, having a nutritional diet, um, you know, high in in, in non processed foods is so critical to self care. I am very really blessed is. to work on an organic farm, so that is nice. that part's covered. Excellent. Yeah. There's there's Kramer, uh, and I would say Kramer is my go to athletic guru so when uh i need an idea of something to help with like when my shoulder got thrown out during ozzy tour and everything he brought me stretch bands and all sorts of stuff so if you uh if you can't figure out something to do reach out we'll get him to email you y'all can talk i'm sure he's got some great ideas for everybody he knows all of the the good fats and the good all of that stuff to help you so, you know, don't be afraid. Like we said, we're all in this and we're a giant circle of people that want to help each other and want to help everybody. That's the difference. It's pretty rad. Uh, you know, punk, punk led us all together and being a punk and doing good. We go, we say it every, almost every week. We come from the Joe Strummer School of Punk Rock and that is do something for somebody, you know, be there, do rock, have fun. But don't forget your fellow man. It's pretty rad. Without um, but, nothing. Um, every week, I like to close it out by kind of putting everybody on the spot. Um, and I'm going to throw it to Chris first. Chris, what is an, a music, an album, or... I can't hear you. Okay. What? Is there an album, a band, or anything you've been listening to a lot? That would uh, that would um, uh, that would bring some people some joy this week that they should check out. Dio's probably going to shoot her brother for his response, but um, it's very unpunkish. The soundtrack of Hamilton. Yeah. Really, what did you say? The soundtrack of Hamilton. So good. <laughs> so good. No, he's he's not wrong. It's very upbeat. Very appropriate for the time. So. Uh, Tina, Tina got um, Tina got both of us the um, Hamilton Black Lives Matter shirts. That say it's not the. I, I might reverse it. Is it? It's not the moment. It's it's not the mid. What? It's a, it's a lyric, but it worked. Yeah. Out, and it was really really cool. Like I wore it the other day. Got a couple of looks, obviously, but. I never, I get looks all the time. So yeah. um, <laughs> that's, that's just part of it. Awesome. So Hamilton. All right. Deal. Anything that's been kicking around in your brain? Actually, I just got a new CD. Um, so my friend, Laura, who I actually met through Def Huff, who's Steve Soto's girlfriend. Uh, wonderful, Steph wonderful. introduced me to Laura and Laura's in an all girl surf band called the Neptunas. And they're fantastic. And my and Chris and my oldest brother Matt uh, bought me a copy of their latest album, and nice. I highly, highly recommend it. They are amazing, super fun music. Um, again, all all women surf band, and yes. they're looks fun. Their music's great. So yeah, that's a that's a good change of scenery if anyone needs one. Nice. Hey Dan, yeah. Dan, put that up for us so we can. I look at it later. Yeah, there you the go. The Neptuna. Um, love it. That's a great name. All right, yeah. uh, Tanner McKenzie. Tanner McKenzie. Uh, which one's going to speak first? Go, Dan. Fine, I'll go. Um, <laughs> if you guys haven't already heard uh, Dave House, 
uh, did a cover of Dylan Drafour's Double Whiskey Coke No Ice, and it's super, super, super strange and kind of uncomfortable because it's a piano duet ballad version of that song, which is a very pitiable song and kind of anthemic. Anyway, it's just kind of really, really beautiful, and it's just been on repeat in my car ever since it came out. Like, I wasn't sure how I felt about it. So with that, go check out that cover. As always, listen to Dylan Drafour, as I brought up earlier, feels like summer in October is just perfect right now. Um, but also another brand, brand new band um, that a friend turned me on to called Fear No Empire. It is a super group that started during quarantine with members of Zebrahead and Death by Stereo, including Mike Camera, who's also in the adolescents. So, and it's super awesome. They only have a few songs out, but it's definitely more kind of politically charged than the rest of the bands, but... But it's it's been it's been really kind of fun to see what they're doing just with their own kind of frustrations. They're putting it all into music together, and it's kind of one of my newer favorite supergroups up there with fake names. So check them out. Okay. Damn. Yeah. Right, yeah. Damn. Zebrahead and Death by Stereo. Who knew? Love Zebrahead. Me too. <laughs> Me too. All yeah, right. it's Ali. I think I have a feeling I know what Dan is going to bring up. I don't think you do. Okay. No. I will bring that up first because it's only because of Mackenzie and Tina that. Yes. Yes, yes. I got it. I told him if he hated it, I'd pay him double for it. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> and now I still kind of want to. As for my glass, what is it? I Joe have, Summer uh, and the Muscularos. Oh, Street nice. Park. One of the greatest records it's, of all uh, time. And I'm so, I, so happy that he bought it. Well, Dan and I were talking before y'all came on, and that album's amazing. Um, I'm lucky enough to, because of the alarm, to be friends with Steve Smiley Barnard, who was a later drummer. With I'm friends with Smiley, Smiley, too. Yep. And watching, uh, he wasn't on that album, but Smiley, he's told me some Joe Strummer stories that blew my mind. Sorry to interrupt, Dan. but no, You're good. Awesome. You're good. That's the awesome. only other I'm thing I have. Dan too, actually. What I am so sorry, but I, I keep thinking about this because when you t asked me which record you should buy, there were a couple that he was trying to decide between. I said that I would probably kill to go back in time and listen to Street Court for the first time on vinyl. Like that, I just, yeah, I just can't imagine what that, that feels like, and I'm so jealous about it. Anyway, that was sorry, the first on. time I messaged, I actually listened to it. So, no, I appreciate that because yeah. that was my first full time through. And so jealous. Wow. So jealous. Um, front to back. <laughs> Hell yeah. the, the only other one I have is right before we went on uh, there's a YouTube channel called Mikey and his uke he mm -hmm. um, if anybody knows his stuff kind of like listening to exactly what Rob's shirt is um, punk rock karaoke gathering different artists from different bands to play music he just released one nine hours ago with Nicholas of Melancholin Chris Cresswell of Flatliners what? Noodles of Offspring what? Jesse and Justin from the Interrupters. Um, Karina. Uh, Karina Denicky? Yes. Ah, she's my oh, friend. I haven't even seen this one yet. Oh, I'm so um, excited. And a few others all covering Bonzo Goes to Bitburg. No. Oh, if you my didn't God. See it, What's his name again? Mikey Dan? and his uke. It is uke. I will be posting it in the comments right now. Okay. Right on. Uh, there's one. If you do, if you get a chance, go back <clears> and <throat> Of them, and he did one with um, he did one with uh, Purple Intruder Purple, which mm -hmm. you know we love. She's been on here, um, and uh, Jen Ar Jen Ar ah, always Jen Ar Anarchy from War on Women sang and started playing guitar, and it was they did the Offspring, and it was insanely good. So check That's it awesome. out. Um, I think Mikey is out of Canada, if I'm not mistaken. He's in a mm -hmm. band. Uh, but check it out. It's really rad stuff. Dan, was that it? All good? Yeah. All right. I didn't want to step on. No, nope, um, you're good. My 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 picks this week are definitely, if you don't know them, Deal brought them up earlier in the night. Idols, brand new album out. And unbelievable. I so honestly, good. I honestly don't know if they know how to write a bad song. I, I literally listen to them every single day, every it's, single day. And and so poignant, <clears throat> his lyrics are insanely great. 
Um, yeah. I, I was truly lucky. And um, Deal, Deal knows this about me. When I'm at music, music festivals, it's very rare that I walk away from the booth. Uh, I told I told a few on the last deal and I walked away and watched Duran Duran at Outside Lands a few years ago. But it's very rare for me to walk away for long for long. But Idols played at the uh, last music festival I got to do, honestly, was uh, Austin City Limits. And they were the only band that I would have walked away. Not not just not my not my speed. A lot of the bands that were there. Uh, a lot of great bands, but just not my thing, but idols in the middle of the day. And I walked away and stayed for the whole set. And literally I was a fan, but if, when, and if we get through this, if they tour America, go, don't even think about it. Go. It's uh, they, they stand for what's right. They fight and they're great, unbelievable band. So check that out. Um, there's so much going on in the world of music and everything right now. Um, that I think is going to be the golden or the, the silver lining to this whole pandemic is that we're going to get a lot of amazing music. Uh, everybody's been tied down. They've been writing and uh, recording. Uh, so check out and support your artist. Um, if you can support, uh, support the, uh, the stages and, Check that out. The Independent Venue Association is doing a lot. We've lost a lot of clubs already, guys, and I don't want to lose more. I, I I hate seeing some of the venues that have already called it quits. But um, so check out the good ones, you know. Um, check out everything. It's it's rad. I want to thank everybody for being here this week, uh, Chris. From my deep heart, you give me PMA every day, and I want you to know I love you to death, and I thank you. Please, right back. Yeah. Please never give up that smile. Deal. Yeah, thank you, Chris. Your smile is unbelievable. It's a family thing. I, it's it's unbelievable. Um, Wait till you meet my mom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would I would consider that an honor. That would be awesome. So she's pretty. Um, great. She's pretty inspiring herself. So thank you all. We'll, uh, we're working on some cool stuff. Uh, Mackenzie and I have been talking to a lot of really cool bands and I didn't get to, I didn't get to tell her before, but I talked to one right before we went live that I'm kind of stoked about. Um, one of the year, kind of the original punk bands. So we'll just, uh, we'll just say it at that. But, um, you can't, so, you can't <laughs> this is my I'll yeah, tell you, I'll tell you when we're off screen. But uh, yeah, I know. Um, Actually, I feel worse for everyone else watching you say that. I'm like, oh, I get to know in 30 seconds, but everyone else has to wait. And uh, I know mackenzie has been talking to the Swinging Utters and a few other rad bands to come on board um, and do a talk and talk, tell what's going on in their world. So hopefully, we have a lot of really cool stuff coming up for you. We're going to keep doing this every week. Uh, it keeps me sane. I love it. It gives me something to look forward to every week because I get to, I get to feel the PMA I'm trying to give you. So I love the fact that I'm getting it back, and that's what these amazing people are all about. So thank you all. Um, I say it every week, guys. I love every one of you, and um, I know you don't believe that, but if you're out there and you need me, please don't be afraid to yell. I will do my best. Um, my phone number is on our website. Uh, you can email me. I will get back to you as fast as I can. Um, and I'm sure everybody here will echo that sentiment. Um, let us know if we can do anything for you. Don't ever feel alone. You're not alone. Uh, mental health has become one of our biggest uh, focuses going through all of this. And we've got a lot of experts that are coming on to help. Uh, Dan has lined us up with so many organizations and everything. Um, Tina is going out of her way to get more and more every day. Uh, the therapy shirt went off great, so check that out. Help us destigmatize the fact that mental health is not a bad thing. Uh, mental, good mental health or working on your mental health is destigmatize. Get rid of it. Uh, stand out there. Be be open and be be great. It's it's a beautiful thing. Um, I'm going to close it with one love up the punks. I love y'all. Good night. Love you guys.
Take care.